all of this clothing and the blankets, everything you see here uh, was found on migrant trails in southern Arizona by me uh, in four months from February to May of this year. And so all of this was, was discarded and abandoned thing, belongings. People wear outerwear until they reach the uh, outskirts of our civilization. I live in a dinky little town. And then they shed their outerwear and they have their street clothes on underneath. And then they assimilate into society. So this is the, all the things that were left behind on trails. And the story that you're about to see is a true story. It's a first and second hand account. It takes place in the counties of Santa Cruz and Pima in Southern Arizona, and also in Northern Mexico. Uh, it's a true story. It has not been embellished, and the names have not been changed. In Pima and Santa Cruz counties, since 2012, there's been over 2,000 bodies discovered in the desert by hikers, border patrol, many of which remain unidentified. So the show will be starting shortly. So uh, welcome to new migration sideshow, American Success Story. Goodbye to my wife. 
Amigos y amigas, bienvenidos a Estados Unidos. Estados Unidos. Our comida, ayuda, cigarrillo, cerveza. Sí. ¿De dónde está? Ah, Guatemala. El Salvador, Mexico, muchos kilometers. I cannot see you, and I see you are not here. But I have seen the fear in the faces and eyes of others that I have met. I found your clothes. And as I emptied your pockets and your packs, and as I washed your clothing, I wept, feeling thousands of years of displacement and belongings left behind. Amigos y amigas, I would like to tell you a story. Friends and neighbors, I would like to tell you a story. This is the story of Rosa Rodriguez. Rosa Rodriguez, 27 years old, from Veracruz, Mexico. She is a divorced mother of two children. Two daughters, ages two and four. She is a house cleaner. Rosa pays mordida on a weekly basis to gangs in her neighborhood. And the gangs, in turn, pay mordida to the cartel for license to operate in the territory they control. Rosa witnesses murders on her street, some of whom she knows. Rosa finds out one day her ex-husband has disappeared with her daughter, and she knows not where. One year later, she discovers that they are living in Alabama. Rosa pays $3,000 to the cartel for passage and a guide to the U.S. through territory they control. Her house and her belongings are left behind. She is transported to a two-day walk to the border. She is in a party of six, plus the coyote. She is the only woman. She knows no one. On the second day, they cross the border through a short barbed wire cattle fence into some of the most remote, treacherous, an unforgiving mountain in the Sonoran Desert. It is a hot September day, over 100 degrees. Shortly after passing the border, Rosa twists and badly sprains her ankle. Her people 
pull further and further ahead. The pace is brief, and she can't keep up. And soon, she is alone. She has been left behind. With no food, little water, and but a blanket, an extra shirt in her pack. On the third day after being abandoned, she drinks the last of her water and decides to climb down a steep, deep canyon in hope of finding water. When she reaches the bottom, she drinks and soaks her feet, pulls the burrs and stickers from her clothing, rests her ankle, fills her bottle, and climbs up the other side of the canyon. On the fourth day, she reaches the top of a long hill and hopes to see a town, a road. But when she reaches the top, she sees nothing but mountains. She thinks she will die. She wishes to be caught. And she prays for a helicopter. On the fifth morning, Rosa reaches the top of the next hill, and in the distance, she hears musica, musica, and singing. She follows the sound down and up a hill, and when she reaches the top, she sees a house with smoke in the chimney. And not knowing what or whom she would find, and torn and scratched and bruised and covered with Spanish daggers, Rosa walks into the house, which has no door, and bursts into tears. Agua, a siete se, siete se amiga. Our comida, see, see, ice, see. Rosa drinks cold water. She eats. She soaks her feet in Epsom salt and ices her ankle. Is given new socks and a toothbrush. She lays down on the bed and sleeps for 20 hours. Rosa, Rosa, you okay? See, see, oh, see, dorme, dorme, sleep. She bathes and washes her clothes in the pond and brushes her teeth under the car cover of darkness. On the third night at the casa, a meal is cooked on the fireplace as her clothes lay, clothes hang dry. It is a bright full moon. Later that evening, Rose's old worn socks are thrown on the fire. And a toast is made with cup. On the fourth morning, Rosa, yo tengo mucho amigas ayudar. 
I have friends that will help you. Good women. Hable espanol mucho. Muy bueno. They can help you. Rosa hides in the back of a truck. Under blankets, tool, and old clothes. And is secreted out of the mountain. Rosa, Rosa, federal, federal. She reaches her destination and meets the good women that will help her. Adios, senorita. Mucho gusto. Four months later, the grapevine spit. Rosa has found her people. She is with her daughter. Gracias, senor. So Rosa, Rosa Rodriguez, Rosa Rodriguez, you are an American success story. And you too, mi amiga, mi amigo, you too are American success story. Because the first endeavor in this beautiful and cruel country has been successful through your courageousness and bravery and tenacity. May you find more success on your journey and may trouble avoid you. No hay hojas o palabra en el libro del corazón que puede describir como siento. Quisiero que pienses de mí en tu sueño. There are no pages or words in the book of my heart that can describe how I feel. I would want for you to think of me in your dream. Thank you. Tell, I could tell the whole yeah, story this time. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, man, how are you?